before I, I, I structure it, how I'm going to structure it, there's different things that you can go in here and you could make adjustments to, like the synth. You could adjust the volume. You could adjust the filter, the pitch of it. Um, you go down here, you could make adjustments to, they have low pass filters, high pass, band pass. You could mix the sounds different. There's distortion, there's drive, there's a compressor, like there's a limiter. You feel me? So you could you could make your own um 808 custom 808s on your own. You feel me? What up? I'm gonna without. get into that. Thank you guys so much for joining in today. Today I am doing a video surrounding Sublab. I'm not sure what the title is as yet. But shout out to Mr. La from New York. He recently asked a question like what um what preset was I using on that pitch quantize video um that I did. If you didn't catch that out, the link should pop up sometime like right now. Um but yeah. He asked what um preset I was using and generally when I use sublab I just scroll through the um the presets until I find one that I like or then I find a preset then I drag a 808 sample in it and tweak it to my liking um I had to go back to this beat though so forgive me this is going to be the third video that you're hearing this beat but I'm going to cook up later on in the video um a completely new beat so this is for um mr la from new york so i needed to hear i needed to pull this um project file up so i could actually open sublab so i could tell him it was simple saw the preset simple saw um and the reason why i i use this one i think it's because the the tempo is a hip-hop tempo um and the the drums that i were using um was a hip-hop drum preset and so i was looking for something that had like a simple saw and sublab had a simple saw base in it so that's pretty much it i didn't i didn't make any tweaks of any kind in this i left it as is and you know what i mean that was it so now i'm uh close this session and open up a new session and start cooking up all right so thank you um mr live from new york for inspiring me to because i was never gonna even do a sub lab video because there's a lot of them out there shout out to mg shout out to av mccree i think mr different did one the homie cmp be you know talking about it here and there um but I really wasn't gonna generally do one because there's so so many videos already on the YouTube platform surrounding it, but nobody's using it in the MPC. So I guess I'm still in my own lane with it somewhat. I well, I haven't seen anybody. If there is anyone out there using it in the MPC, um, I might have missed it. No, no slack at you if you are. I um so on the flip side of this, I'm going to have a new session opened up and we're going to get to cooking. All right. Hold up. All right. So we in a new session. Uh, yeah, man. So this is the same, the loop. So I got that. Now I'm going to just work on, on the drums.
So I want to catch that da -da 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 -da. and I want to have my kicks on that as well. So I'm going to try to follow that da -da 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 with my kicks and then I'm going to record the snare. It was off a little bit. I'm going to do it again. So I got those drums. Um, nothing crazy, simple. All right, so I got that, and um, so now, I mean, I can add some more percussive sounds. I'm going to do that on my own time. I want to get to why we here today. I'm going to get and open an instance of, um, I put the wrong thing. Open a plugin. VSTD. So Sublab, the, again, there's a lot of videos on how to use it, why to use it, and all that. I'm not generally doing one of those today. I'm just using it how I use it, right? But what I do want to um, show some love and some support to is Ab McCree, DJ Ab McCree, pardon me released a sound pack i think he released several after this first one but I, th I believe this one that i'm about to use right now is the first one he he uh released so i'm gonna check that out and um see if i could make it work with those sounds work with this beat right so this is kind of like a cook up a review and a response to a subscriber all in one video so i believe so you would open up you press this button right here or this you know these three lines it'll open up the patches you go to open patch pack folder patches is where your your folders would go you drop the folder inside here um Now,
hopefully this don't start to mess up because once I start to go inside my computer I say it all the time but once I start going in the brains of the computer it start to buffer heavy pause so I believe you will drop the XP files into into that uh that folder so I'm gonna go ahead and drag it over and I'm gonna drop it in to the patches but none of these guys things say XP let me see all right I guess that's it let me make sure all right so boom TTS, which is Trap Tendo Sounds. That's the folder right there. So let me just recap that real quick. <laughs> real quick for you guys. You hit this button. You go to Open Patch Pack Folder. You click that. And Patches opens up. And you drop in your folder, whatever folder that is, you drop it inside of here and it opens up. Simple, 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 simple math, right? So now we got that. Hopefully this thing is still recording. As I said, you would go to, if you just want to locate, hold up. Where's the where's where's trap tender? Hold up. Alright. I don't know what's going on. Hold on, I gotta do research. Alright, so I had to <laughs> close the NPC software and then reopen the NPC software for um these 808 sounds to actually open up i might have could have just um opened a new instance of sublab and maybe it would have opened up but i just said let me restart it so these are the 808s the sounds that it comes with i'm going to use i don't know any one of them really This one is called 808 Future MG. <laughs> Shout out to Ave McCree. <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm gonna mess with that one. But before I I, I structure it, how I'm gonna structure it. There's different things that you can go in here and you could make adjustments to like the synth. You could adjust the volume. You could adjust the filter, the pitch of it. Um, you go down here and you can make adjustments to, they have low pass filters, high pass, band pass. You could mix the sounds different. There's distortion, there's drive, 
there's a compressor like there's a limiter you feel me so you could you could make your own um 808 custom 808s on your own you feel me and i'm gonna get into that probably in another video um one thing that brought me that made me get grab this uh vst was the fact that the sampler you can actually drag your your favorite 808 that you use and just drop it in and it it auto corrects it to the key of what sub lab believe that it is right so if it's in d sharp and the actual WAV file itself tells you that is C, Sublab will move it to D sharp, right? So I always, I thought that was cool. That was a selling point for me because I'd be doing so much to figure out the key of the sample just to, um, to play dope 808s too, right? So that's dope, you know what I mean? And then you can go into this area and mess with the sub and the harmonics the the low lows and the harmonics which is you know what what carries over into like your your earbuds and your your laptop speakers right so like i said there's tons of videos on sublab this is not really a video explaining how to use it this is just more of how i use it and I'm actually reviewing uh, Av McCree's 808 pack. All right. So with that said, now I could get to the sorcery. So, you guys seen the video that I did recently about the pitch quantize. This is how pitch quantize work in a nutshell. Um, how I would, how I use it a lot of the times. I would either A, already have some MIDI notes that I copy and paste in, or I, you know, spam spam that <laughs> it won't make any sense really right but i'm gonna show y'all pitch quantize again so this is what we got so i'll go to tools no edit pitch quantize the root note of this is i think is a sharp minor hold on let me make sure all right so it's a sharp minor that is what mg has said it was anyway so i should have knew that so boom edit pitch quantize root note a sharp scale natural minor and press do it and it jumps up
Pitch Quantas, A sharp. See how it moves it right to the to A sharp. So C is actually in in the the scale of A sharp as well. So when it moved it to the the nearest C, it was doing the right thing. And as you can see, it didn't really sound off. It still was cool, but um, I I want it on the root note which is A, my A sharp, which is actually B flat, right? And then once you, once you hear, right, you could just move, move up like the third the fifth the seventh whatever works for you sublab and this was the 808 uh the future mg setting i can mess with some more presets <laughs> pretty much it man i hope you guys enjoyed it um this video sub lab lab mccree mg the future and cmp collab see how you can make a beat with with all these different um content creators all these different producers um i just collab with, with all of them in one in one beat i'm i'm not finished though um i'm gonna go back in and do my thing but i just collab with mg right that sample from sample from lupac sunday volume 29 the 808s come from uh av mccree right this the Av McCree sound designed the 808. The the actual 808s though came from CMP Slimeer 808 the, the the MIDI pattern right. The drums came from Southside. You see what I'm saying? So you cook up how you cook up and do your thing and you collab with you know your favorite producers. That's what 
why we have all these tools and I'm here to you know what I mean show you how I do it so do remember that music is life it is our DNA keep banging peace love light till next time if you have any comments or concerns on how to obtain any of these things that I uh, display today um, well I don't have a affiliate link for sublab so that that might not be there but you can go to plug-in boutique and grab it they always have sales um blue pack volume 29 the link will be in the description of that video and um yeah the link will be in the description to how to get all of these things besides sublab you feel me like there's no there's no direct connect to sublab so it is what it is love and light